Hello and welcome to part three of the quadrilateral series. What are we doing? Oh yeah, quadrilaterals, part three. In this video, we will be focusing on the set of quadrilaterals known as the parallelograms. We will also look at the special parallelograms rectangle, square, rhombus. Let's do a few more conditional statements before we visit the land of the parallelograms. If a shape is a quadrilateral, then it is a rectangle. If we're starting here, if, if a shape is a quadrilateral, then it is a rectangle. Well, that's starting further outside, about as far outside as we can go, and we're going inside. So when we go from outside to inside, that is sometimes true, so the truth value is false. If a shape is a parallelogram, then it is a quadrilateral. We're starting here with our hypothesis. If we have a parallelogram, then it is a quadrilateral. That is moving inside out, and therefore, this is always true. On to parallelograms. Definition of a parallelogram. A quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. And I have one pair, and I have the slopes measured to show that they are parallel. And another pair, also with equal slopes. And we continue to maintain this property, which is in fact the definition for this constructed parallelogram. Now here are properties of parallelograms. Opposite sides are congruent. Opposite angles are congruent. Consecutive angles, consecutive pairs are always supplementary. So angle D plus angle C adds to 180. Angle C plus angle B adds to 180 and so on. The diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other we have two equal halves and we have two other equal halves. But notice that the four halves do not all have the exact same congruence mark. We have pairs of congruent, those two and those two. Now remember the Venn diagram for our special cases of rectangle square rhombus. The most specific is the square. We'll do that one last. So first let's do rectangle and then rhombus and then square. So the definition of a rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles, which I have constructed right here. Rectangle A, B, C, D. Since this is a subset of parallelogram, all of the parallelogram properties will also be properties of every rectangle. Opposite sides are parallel and congruent. Opposite angles are congruent, consecutive angles are supplementary. Where we get a more specific property is in the examination of the diagonals. Not only do they bisect each other, as they do for every parallelogram, but the actual diagonals are congruent to each other. And I have that measurement right here. And we can see that that does not change as long as we maintain a rectangle. So in this special case, each half of a diagonal, well, I'll give them three marks, Sorry. So we know they're not the same as the sides of the rectangle. These will always be congruent to each other. So now what about the triangles formed? We should be able to conclude that we have two pairs of isosceles triangles as well. And on to the rhombus, where our definition of a rhombus says a quadrilateral with four congruent sides, which I have marked. And I have constructed this to always maintain the equilateral property that is the definition of a rhombus. So those measurements are all up here. I have an equilateral quadrilateral. Now every rhombus is a parallelogram. And again, that would be going from inside out. So that would be an inside out conditional statement. If it's a rhombus, then it's a parallelogram. That's always true. So a rhombus is always a parallelogram. So we have all the same properties of parallelograms do also apply to every rhombus. It's when we construct the diagonals that we see a new property. The diagonals of a rhombus are always perpendicular. And that was not one of the properties for diagonals of a rectangle or for a parallelogram. But for the special parallelogram rhombus, we do get perpendicular diagonals. And if we examine the four triangles, we see that all four are congruent to each other and they are all right triangles. And our last type of special parallelogram is the square. 
and our definition of a square is a quadrilateral with four right angles and four congruent sides. Congruent sides, right angles. So again, back at the Venn diagram, this is the intersection, the intersection of rhombus and rectangle. So a square is always a rectangle, a square is always a rhombus, a square is always a parallelogram. So it will have the properties of all of those. So again, all properties of a parallelogram apply. In the case of examining the diagonals of a square, they bisect each other and they're perpendicular. And because it's also a rectangle, they're congruent. So notice all of the same congruence marks and the 90 degree angles. And again, we have four right triangles which will all be congruent to each other. And remember, a square is always a rectangle, a rhombus, and a parallelogram. Thanks for watching and keep practicing.